Hello everyone, I'm Jin Teacher from Reading Town. Today's passage is about, you guessed it, look at the picture, dolphins. So the title says, Can You Speak Dolphin? Have you ever heard a dolphin? What kind of sounds do they make? They make these very high pitched kind of squeaking, squealing sounds. So let's see if there's actually meaning behind that. Today our passage says, Dolphins have long been known for their intelligence. Intelligence is what you know, being very smart. So they've been known for their intelligence, but a group of Russian scientists claim they have recorded dolphins using language to talk to each other. It's fascinating and exciting news, but can it be true? So it says that some scientists believe that it's not just weird random sounds, but then they actually have meaning, language. You and I, the words that we speak, whether you speak Korean, French, English, Russian, that's all language because the sounds that we make actually have meaning behind it. That's language. So they say it's fascinating, another synonym. We've learned many synonyms for, through these articles like astonishing or amazing, now fascinating and exciting news. But let's see if it's true. Uh, Vaya Cheslav Ryabov, which is a, who is a senior researcher at Vyazmikskai Karadag Scientific Station, published in the St. Petersburg Polytechnical University Journal that dolphins may have highly developed spoken language like that of humans. With the help of modern technology, Russian scientists used special underwater microphones to detect and analyze dolphin sounds. So let's take a step back and understand what we read. So this scientist, uh, Mr. Ryabov, he was able to publish, publish means to make something, uh, a study, and then put it out for the public to read it. So they checked the information and they studied it and they published it. And they said that dolphins may have a highly developed spoken language. So they feel that dolphins are able to communicate using different meanings uh, through different sounds, just like that of you and me. So here, with the help of modern technology, so with the help of machines that we use today, Russian scientists use special underwater microphones. So microphones is what I have here so that you can hear better. Underwater means deep inside the water. So they would put these microphones, special microphones, so that they can hear, uh, detect means feel or notice and analyze, analyze means to study. So they want to feel, uh, they want to understand and uh, figure out what the dolphin sounds mean, so the different sounds. In the study, they recorded two black sea bottlenose dolphins, so that's a type of a dolphin, named Yasha and Yana in a pool. Using a series of sounds and clicks called pulses, the two dolphins would listen to each other without interrupting. So here in this sentence, these two black sea bottlenose dolphins that they were using in their research, they would listen to them using these underwater microphones and they would hear a series of sounds. Series means going on and on and on. So usually we series we see like in dramas, right? You have the first episode, it's a series or a mini series. Series means one after another, okay? So a series of sounds and clicks called pulses. Clicking is that sound when you turn something, right? It's that plasticky sound, click, 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 click. They would hear those kinds of sounds, but they wouldn't call it clicks, they call it pulses. The two dolphins would make these sounds and clicks and pulses at each other. And the scientists would listen without interrupting. Interrupting means stopping. So the scientists wouldn't stop, they wouldn't interfere, they wouldn't get in the water. They would just sit there and listen to these two dolphins talking to one another. The scientists concluded the series of pulses resembled words that were put together into actual sentences. This is an important sentence. The scientists concluded, they believed after everything, this is their result. This is their last uh, opinion. It said that the series of pulses, uh, it resembled means look like or seems like, words that were put together in actual sentences. So it seemed like to the scientists after observing the two dolphins that even though they were making these weird sounds and these pulses, sounds and clicks, they would actually sound like sentences. They were forming sentences to one another. However, renowned experts like Denise Herzing from Wild Dolphin Project are not certain about Ryabov's study. They criticize the experiment for lacking evidence of language communication in the wild. 
So here it says that even though these scientists in Russia believe that dolphins are speaking to one another, not just random sounds, but they're actually making sentences and using language like how you and I do, a lot of other experts are saying, well, I'm not sure if that's necessarily the case. They're saying that uh, the experiment lacks evidence. Lacking means doesn't have enough. Evidence is facts or some things that are uh, true of language communication in the wild. In the wild could also be in the ocean, it could be in the jungle, in the forest. We, they don't know that if animals really use uh, language the way that you and I do. So there are some people out there who are doubting what these researchers in Russia found. So the last sentence, let's hope more research can be done to unveil the decades old secret of dolphin dialogue. Decades is a period of 10 years, so for tens of years, Dolphin have been, dolphins have been speaking to one another, but we still don't fully understand uh, what they're saying. But some people believe that that's actually a language. Some people still doubt it, that they're actually speaking to one another on a level that you and I speak to one another through language. So this is a quite an interesting passage. I believe that animals do communicate, but do they really have complex dialogue like you and I do? That remains to be seen. More research, perhaps. Let's go into our comprehension section. Uh, let's fill in the blanks from what we've read. So I guess this is a picture of the researchers uh, studying the dolphins in the wild, trying to listen using underwater microphones to see and detect any communication between animals, not just dolphins. But here, what are the Russian scientists claiming? So claiming means what are they uh, saying? What is it that they have said that they found? That's a claim. Uh, they have recorded dolphins, what? They have recorded dolphins laughing. They have recorded dolphins. So we need a verb. Dolphins are doing something. So they've recorded dolphins talking, right? So another word for talking could be communicating, right? Or having dialogue. The second question. Uh, what may the dolphins have? The dolphins may have a highly something spoken language. So uh, it seems to be the word is focused on the language. So what kind of language? What kind of spoken language? Developed spoken language. So if something is developed, it's not in the beginning stages, but it's very detailed and it's very layered. So there's a lot of things going on. So developed means it's a lot more complex, it's a lot more detailed uh, spoken language. And the last one, how did they detect this sound? So once again, remember detect, detect is to feel or notice. So how did they first notice these sounds? Russian scientists use special microphones to catch and analyze dolphin sounds. So if you look at the picture, where do they put these microphones? That's right. So if you go into the water, it's underwater. So they would use these special microphones put it deep into the water and listen for sounds. So talking developed and underwater microphones. All right, let's look at the last section, the fill in the blank, using the appropriate words for these sentences. Uh, part A, it's fascinating. Remember, we said fascinating was astonishing, amazing. It's fascinating and exciting news, but can it be, can it be what? Usually when we say, is it real, can it be, that's right. Can it be true? Is it something that we can believe 100%? Is it fact? Can it be true? Uh, part B, the two dolphins would listen to each other, something interrupting. We said interrupting means stopping, right? Or getting in the way. So the two dolphins would listen to each other. Would they stop each other? No, they won't. So it's without interrupting. So the scientists would just sit there, listen to them, and the dolphins would listen to one another. They would not speak on top of each other. You know, sometimes when you talk to your friends, you speak and they speak at the same time, that's interrupting one another. But the dolphins wouldn't do it, the scientists wouldn't do it, they would just sit there, listen. When one dolphin was speaking, the other dolphin would not interrupt, right? So they would just listen. So without interrupting, the last sentence, they something the experiment for lacking evidence. I think this came at the last paragraph. So these are the other researchers who uh, didn't believe that what the Russian scientists were doing was 100% factual or true. So they what? When you don't believe someone, you uh, doubt, but you also criticize. Criticize meaning that you are pointing out the mistakes. What is it that they did well? What is it that they didn't do well? That's to criticize something. 
So the words that I want you to remember from today's passage, true, without criticize, using the words that we learned in today's passage, I hope that you get to think about language again. Do you think that animals have a language like you and I? Some people may agree, some people may disagree. More research needs to be done, but this is once again a fascinating topic. I hope you enjoyed this passage and learned a lot. I'll see you around next time. Thank you very much.